Now this word problem is about as difficult a question as you're going to find on the SAT. Let's make sure that we keep our information extremely organized as we go along. The ex-members of a high school baseball team have saved money so that they can contribute equally to the purchasing of a team plaque, which costs N dollars. Isn't that nice of them? If Z of the team's coaches also decide to contribute to the purchase so that each person pays the same share of the total, which of the following represents the excess amount in dollars that each of the team members will have saved? A lot of stuff to notice about this question, first of which is that there are variables in my answer choices, which suggests to me that this is a plug-in numbers goal number question. So I'm going to choose values for my variables x, n, and z, and I'm going to solve the question using those values, then I'm going to plug those values back into the answer choices and see which one gives me my goal number. So let's use numbers that don't necessarily have to be realistic. But let's say that there are X team members. Let's say that there are 10. 10 members on the baseball team. And they're going to buy a plaque for N dollars. Let's call it $100. Okay? The numbers aren't necessarily realistic, but they are helpful for my own purposes right here because I can do this in my head. The plaque costs 100 There's 10 of them. They're each going to spend $10. So each player on the team has saved $10 in order to contribute to the plaque. Okay, again, I'm being very organized about my thought process here. And then some of the coaches come along and they say, you know what? We have a salary. We're paid by the state. We're going to contribute to this plaque as well. And again, I'm not going to use a realistic number. I'm going to use a number that suits my purposes. I'm going to use the number 15. Now, why did I choose 15? Well, it means that there are a total of 10 plus 15 people now contributing to this $100. 25 people contributing to $100. Oh, very nice. That means that each person is contributing $4. Because if there's 25 people splitting 100 equally, it's going to be 25 times 4 is 100. Now, what I'm asked about is the excess that these players saved in order to contribute to the plaque. They saved $10 initially, and then it turns out that they only have to pay $4 a piece. What was their excess? They saved $6 by not having to spend it on the plaque. So they initially save $10, then it turns out that their contribution only has to be $4. My goal number now is 6, and I always write that right in the top in the middle. The goal number is 6. Now my last step, I'm going to plug X, N, and Z into the answer choices where appropriate and hope that only one of my five answer choices will give me 6, my goal number. Let's start with answer choice A, and I'm going to use my calculator, which I always keep in my back pocket. N over X, that's going to be 100 over 10. 100 over 10 is equal to 10. Could have done that in my head, but might as well be safe. 10 is not my goal number of 6. Goodbye, answer choice A. Answer choice B, N over X plus Z, that's going to be 100 over parentheses. 10 plus 15, N parentheses. Well, it's 100 over 25, so that's 4. 4 is not my goal number. Goodbye, answer choice B. Answer choice C, n times z, so that's parentheses 100 times 15, over, right, divided by parentheses x plus z, which is 10 plus 15. I'm using really good parentheses here to make sure that I don't uh, mess up the order of operations. So 100 times 15 over 10 plus 15 is 60. 60 is not my goal number of 6. Goodbye, answer choice C. Answer choice D, n times z, which is parentheses 100 times 15, divided by parentheses x, which is 10 times parentheses 10 plus 15. Oh, that equals 6. Isn't that nice? Let's hold on to answer choice D. But when we're ever, whenever we're looking for goal numbers, we always need to make sure we check all five answer choices. Answer choice E is the final one. Let's hope that it's not 6 this time. So that's going to be 100 times parentheses 25, right? or x plus, uh, x plus z, which is 2,500, divided by x, which is 10. And I get 250, which is, of course, not our goal number. Goodbye, answer choice E. Only one of my five answers yielded my goal number when I plugged in. And the correct answer is, in fact, D.